everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So you might be wondering why I'm playing this. I've been playing this since launch actually, but I've been so busy. The launch was actually in the middle of my vacation and um, I think I have a free time right now, more free time to create videos for the game. So moving forward guys, I'll be creating lots of guides. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to create previous guides, but I'll be backtracking those guides for you but i will be starting off with this video because i'm sure that most of you have been creating these mistakes or have been making these mistakes until now so i'll let you you know i'll go through all of these and see if you know you may or still making them or you're already good with these mistakes okay starting off with your supply office fragments Okay, so as we all know, we are, we have extra, we'll be, we will have extra uh, marks of sinners. So these marks belong to sinners who you maxed out already. Okay, take note, you won't have these if you haven't maxed out a sinner. So this is where you redeem them in the exchange. So redeem. Uh, fragment redemption so these are my extras already i have maxed them out their shackles their shackle level so they're at level five i i won't need copies of them anymore definitely you're gonna have to convert them into this currency the purple one so regular arrest credit so once you redeem these okay so warden what are you know what are the best ones to get from this one so Definitely, you're going to be um, getting the monthly purchase, this one. So, buy them. They're, they're hard to come by. Um, the rest of these can be farmed. So, it's really up to you guys on what do you lack at the moment. Usually, use these materials for, for leveling up. Um, for um, Not leveling up, but uh, yeah, leveling up. There, there are some stages where... We'll need to break them through. You will need these materials here. And also, you might need these. So, for every 25, this is actually sometimes a good decision to get. But again, there is no real good item here that you should save for except for the warrant. Okay, so as for the Fragment Redemption, you can actually you know, buy whatever you need from the store. Um, this one, the Mania Essence and the Disc Coins are usually um, in short supply because we level our Sinners up. So again, these are good aside from the Warrant, okay? And also, actually, all, all are good depending on what you need, okay? So just don't, just, just make sure that you have extra to buy the Warrant monthly. So it's, it's only 150 times 5, so that's around 750. So the rest can, could be spent on these, okay? So next up, I'd like to go, um, you know, I'd like to let you see the sinners that I have. So again, just create uh, a team enough that you will, you know, just create a significant amount or number of members in your team wherein you could have, you could be functional. Um, do not uh upgrade a lot of sinners because you'll run out of uh what do you call this of materials to upgrade them with okay so level up only essential team members don't go crazy and level up let's say for example for sumir i actually had a i had a mistake of leveling her up i wasn't supposed to level her up so anyway she's at, she's at level 20 and i have, i don't have any choice anymore but at this point why is my nose so itchy? Anyway, but at this point, I don't have a choice. Level up your sinners. Probably have enough for two levels. So that's roughly 12 or probably 10. So that you could just mix and match, you know, whoever you need. Because you'll be acquiring new sinners in the future. Like tomorrow, we're going to have our new uh, an update for additional sinners. So again, level up the essential members that you need. Okay, so this one is... Very, very important. Do not do a cube conversion. So do not do this because if you're using your ultra cube for your hy hyper cube, you're at a loss. So don't use this. The ultra cube is our premium currency. 
uh, you can buy a lot of these from the store. Uh, please do not convert them because the conversion is kind of crazy. It's just one is to one. So that is it. Also, guys, if you remember the postetas. So your postetas is the ultimate of your chief or your warden. <laughs> okay. So actually, the game calls me chief warden. <laughs> So it's very redundant. Um, anyway, my um, suggestion here: if you if you haven't unlocked all of the postetas yet, do not waste your first reset on 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 you know if you have unlocked if you haven't unlocked um, to the last one, because the first one is free. So take note of that. If you have res uh, use a reset. And, you know, the others might, you know, the this one is still locked for you and you might want that in the future, then um, it's it's going to be a waste of your free reset. So, again, make sure that uh, your prostatas are all open before you do a free reset. Okay, so next is going to be pertaining to your Minus system activation. So, that is what this is called. As you can see here, Minos system, feature rules. So take note, some players might have a difficulty um, activating some of these or all of these. So make sure that your, um, as you can see here, these symbols here refers to a power supply. So you have to match that with the facility that you're in. Okay, so please make sure that you match that. Um, like for example, for this one, uh, let's uh, let's click and uh, click it here. So as you can see here, these are your what is needed to power this up to collect. And the only way to connect all of those is through this one, either auto connect or designate a route. You have to connect these. So previously these were not connected so these were these were not powering each other up okay you might actually want to look at my layout if you want to follow my layout so this layout i created so that every system or every room here is powered up okay so this one is a new output so this is kind of a yellow star so make sure that you activate all of your um all the areas that are generating for you like this one this is for this uh this one is for just the uh, management center this is where you level it up this one you have this is for your energy and what else this one is for um what's this called i forgot what is this <laughs> But you'll need that. So again, make sure that everything in your resource generation facilities in the Mino system is activated. So the only way is to connect it to the right power source. Okay, so next up is going to be your assist mode. If you guys haven't gone through the assist mode, this actually gives you a hint where in where you can go next. And if you if you think you've finished everything, then go through your assist mode. Um, the rest would be, I think, very simple. So, just a few more tips for you guys. Um, this city. For this city, let's say for the Oblivion Pit, for example. You want to enter this one. Then you click enter. You have one attempt. You only have one attempt for this per day. So, once you enter. Okay, if you want to go out. Do not terminate. Because if you terminate it. That one try per day will will no, no longer be there. If you want to go out and you want to pause whatever progress you have, just suspend it. Okay, so then resume operation. Never terminate an operation because, again, you'll be wasting your tries for this mode. Okay. Um, also, I don't have an example for you guys, but there are certain parts of the achievement w within within um, the game. It's usually prevalent in the summon system. I don't want to do a summons now. We have we have new characters tomorrow or new sinners tomorrow. So um, there is usually a share function wherein you'll be given hypercubes. 
So please do that. That's actually a way of farming. Actually, my mistake was I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to share. So I know it's it, it's it's a small amount, but again, small amounts matter because it becomes a big amount <laughs> in the end. Okay. So <clears throat> this one, the last one, the events. You might not have seen this, but there's. A, an event here where you will have a trial of each of the cases here. Some of them are easy. Some of them are hard. So you'll have to redo them eventually. But this is also a, a this is also a way where you can get hypercubes. This doesn't usually appear. You know, it, it's it's rarely seen by most players. So please don't forget to. You know, to tap these. I'm not sure if this has this has a duration. This will end tomorrow. <laughs> so November 10. So you still have a couple of hours to finish these. Me too. I haven't finished some. And also, guys, my last tip for you is this game. I noticed that the energy that they gave us and how it generates energy is very slow. So full in 11, I think this is 11 hours. Yes. So again, try to play, try to play in the morning where in you're full or you have more energy than your last play will be, will be happening in the evening probably or late afternoon. Because um, if you don't play um, in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening instead of afternoon, you'll be missing on a lot of content. The content that they have um, is really, really has, um, you know, it, it can burn you a lot of energy. This is 18 for only this content. Even for farming, the rust here, nest pollution is, I think, 25. So again, um, maximize your day in playing this game i'm usually using the morning and afternoon you know playing times if i can remember play it in the morning but usually what i do if i forget i play it early in the afternoon then in the evening so that's it guys so hopefully these tip uh that hopefully this hopefully these tips what, what what's happening to my tongue hopefully these tips um know are good and uh, more or less have helped you or is going to help you in playing this game moving forward so guys again um hope you su support my channel for for this game for path to nowhere i'll be covering this moving forward um again i'm sorry i wasn't able to cover this during launch was busy with life and other things so thank you very much guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here